So hey guys, let's chat a little bit about air filter maintenance on your Can-Am ATV. Uh, you pop the panels off it, you may notice a little tag right by the air filter itself here, a little air filter maintenance tag that reads, maintenance must be performed as specified in the operator's guide. Air filter maintenance should increase in frequency in more severe and dusty conditions. And basically, Can-Am started putting these tags on a few years back, they really wanted to stress the fact of how important this is, how important it is to keep your air filter clean, uh, serviced, your air box uh, clean and uh, free from uh, mud, debris, anything uh, that gets sucked into the intake. Uh, they're really worried about uh, anything getting past that throttle body. As soon as you get anything, any dust, water, mud, anything, go by, by that throttle body and get into your top end. It really, it just acts like sandpaper against your piston rings. Um, things like your intake, exhaust valves, uh, and, and your engine bearings, connecting rod bearings, main bearings, everything just, uh, just wears everything out really quickly. So what's really cool about the new Gen 2 chassis is the airbox design itself. It's a twin chamber airbox. It has uh, one side that's called the dirty side where the air filter goes and then the clean side here. So once the air is filtered through the, uh, through the air filter, then it goes into the clean side and into your intake. You can see underneath here the two drain plugs for the bottom. I'm just getting ready to snorkel this unit, but you can see the drain plug here for the clean side of the air box. And then again, the drain plug on the right for the dirty side. So the air, like I said, goes in through the intake on the top. We'll pop the air filter off here on the side, pull it out of the way. And here underneath, you can see the dirty side, the dirty chamber, and you can see where the air first enters in through the intake boot. Gets filtered by the air box, goes through that little circle opening there and into the clean side, which it then will exit out into the, uh, into the throttle body itself. So just a really neat way to filter the air, just to kind of improve on the fact that uh, they want really nice, clean, clean air going into that throttle body for the engine. and. Uh, all you really got to do is pop that cap once in a while and uh, check what kind of condition the air filters in before your ride make sure it's ready to go so guys let's have a quick peek at what's going on in an air box uh, here that's been in use it's got some dirt on it uh, you can tell by the uh, video here we'll peel this cap off here have a look at what's going on underneath in the air box have a quick look at the drain plugs you can see there's a little debris in there this brings up another question uh, guys ask us quite often when we're snorkeling a unit, how do you seal that cap properly to uh, make sure nothing's going to get into it, any uh, water, mud, anything, uh, get past that cap and get in there. And it's pretty simple. You can see here it's just really a bead of RTV type uh, silicone around it. Um, guys think, well, maybe it's a little bit difficult to get off, but, you know, a really sharp X-Acto knife or a utility knife, you make a few cuts into it. A uh, quick pry with the pry bar and away, bam, you got your air filter uh, popped out ready to go. Now you can see this air filter here, it's not a paper filter, but it's a foam filter. So we're going to be able to reuse that. We're going to be able to clean it uh, with some Varisol, a, a low flash point solvent, uh, some soap and water, and then re-oil it and put it back into use again. Another good look here inside, you can see the uh, dirty side of the air box and how well it's been working. This, uh, this filter here could have definitely been serviced a little bit earlier. But again, the uh, twin chamber design of the airbox, you get a really good look at, uh, at the dirty side here and then, and then still the clean side on the other side. Uh, everything, all the, all the nice air that's going into the throttle uh, body, the intake is still nice and clean. We'll get this air filter serviced, uh, maintained. We'll get it uh, cleaned up with the Varisol tank here, get all the grease, the oil out of it. And then we're going to just really use some simply put here some hot soapy water. Get the rest of the dirt out of it, uh, blow dry it really clean, uh, let it uh, make sure that it's all nice and dry, and then we'll re-oil it and put it back into service. Now, Can-Am, of course, they use this two different styles of filters. They use the paper filter, uh, which comes stock with them. They're like really easy to identify. They've got a paper cartridge, a little bit of a foam piece over top of them. Really, when these things are done, uh, you can't reuse them. They just need to be replaced. Uh, unlike the foam filter, which you can reuse, you can clean, re-oil it. Now, one thing, though, with the paper filters, the engine builders, the dynos, the dyno guys, they uh, they actually claim that they see a little bit more horsepower out of them, that they flow a little bit better. So some guys do like that fact with them, and when they're dirty, they'll just simply replace them. 
the foam ones, like I mentioned, like you see in here, uh, re uh, clean them up, re-oil them, and uh, put them back into use. Uh, one little tip here: some guys actually they'll buy an extra foam one. They'll have it ready to go on their bench. So when they do check their uh, check their ATV before the weekend, and they notice that the filter is dirty, they can simply put the new one in. Uh, have the dirty one sitting on the bench to uh, clean whenever uh, they have time and bang they're ready to go for the weekend. So either way I hope this uh, video helps you out a little bit with air filter maintenance. We see a lot of dirty air filters coming into the shop here. Uh, it usually turns into uh, extra service work for us so we definitely don't mind. But if you want to keep your engine running strong, uh, maintained along with your engine oil and the rest of it, keep your air filter clean. It'll keep uh, your top end nice and fresh and uh, you'll have uh, many more miles to go. So again, thank you guys and stay tuned.